What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having an amazing day today. We are back yet again, bringing you guys some more competitive ranked double battles for Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield. In today's video, we are finishing off showcasing our Series 13 Pokemon with the final Pokemon, Zarude. You guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content at any time, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, definitely consider subscribing. We upload here every single day and we get tons of content going all around the Nintendo franchise. But uh, let's get started here with today's team preview. Starting off in that top left corner, we have the one and only Talonflame. And I love Talonflame. Such a cool Pokemon and really good for speed control because it can learn Tailwind alongside with its ability, Gale Wings, gives it first turn priority. But it has Expert Belt as its item. It's rocking Overheat and Dual Wing Beat both for Stab, Protect, and Tailwind for that speed control. Second Pokemon on the team is going to be the OP Shadow Rider Calyrex. And this Shadow Rider Calyrex moveset is probably one of my favorite. We got the Imprisoned Trick Room Calyrex right here. And it works so well with countering up Trick Room and just makes it 10 times easier with doing that as well. It's got the As One ability alongside with the Focus Ash. And then it's got Astro Barrage, will o -Wisp, and then we already mentioned the Imprisoned Trick Room. Middle left is going to be Zacian over here. Not the normal Zacian. We got Substitute Zacian. Super, super strong. Super good. And if you could set up Substitute on this Pokemon, you pretty much win the game. Like, Zacian is OP as it is. Giving it a substitute is absolutely amazing. Fourth Pokemon on the squad is going to be our Life Orb Ground. I'm probably going to be a Pokemon that we Dynamax a lot in today's video because it has that Life Orb and it's really good in a Dynamax form. It's got Drought as its ability and it's got Precipice Blades for stab, Fire Punch for coverage, Thunder Punch for coverage, and last but not least, it has Protect. Bottom left hand corner is going to be the star of the show. We got Zarude over here. Dark and Grass type and it is the most newest, I should say. It is the most new mythical pokemon in the pokemon franchise because it was just released in generation 8 so we really haven't seen that much of this pokemon so it's going to be cool to showcase him all he's got leaf guard as its ability and it's rocking that assault vest to make him a lot more bulkier up against special attackers it's got power whip for stab darkest layer for stab rock tomb and acrobatics for two coverage moves cannot wait to use this guy and showcase him off in the competitive scene final pokemon on this team is going to be Zero Aura over here. Zero Aura is just such a great lead. It has Fake Out, it's really fast, and it also has E Web for speed control. It's got Volt Absorb as its ability, then the Air Balloon as its item. E Web, Snarl, Coaching, and Fake Out for a moveset. Gotta love it because you can pair them up with physical attackers such as Groudon, coach them up for that attack and defense boost, and get thriving from there. But guys, if you want to write this code for yourself, rental code is at the bottom of the screen. But let's get after it. Let's hop on that ranked double ladder. Look to get some wins with this Series 13 Zarude team. First battle coming at you guys for today's video. We're going up against a Zacian slash Ice Rider Calyrex Trick Room team. It's a little weird. So we can pop Trick Room with the Moongus and the Calyrex and then roll out with the, the, the Alga on that team. Or he can just stay still with that and roll out with like Regilecki. Uh, who else is that? Regilecki, Zacian, and Kyogre. So since he does have Trick Room and Trick Room is a threat, I feel like we have to lead Shadow Rider Calyrex. Just in case he wants to go into it, we can kind of just imprison Trick Room and kind of roll off from there. And then next Pokemon I want to lead might be Zacian. Zacian's not too bad. Or I can lead a Pokemon like Zero Or. Or I can just lead Groudon. Groudon's not too bad of a lead here either. Groudon is definitely not too bad of a lead here. So I could go Groudon. I could just roll off from there. Or I could go Zarude. Zarude's pretty cool. Zarude is definitely pretty cool. And I'm kind of leaning towards going towards Zarude because he's just such a sick Pokemon. But let me see a stature. Well, we lead Zarude and get him rolling. Attack and speed. Yo, let's do it. Let's do it. Actually, what... I want to breed his ability real quick. Friend status conditions in harsh sunlight. So he thrives out with Groudon. He thrives out with Groudon. You know what? I'm going to lead him. I'm going to bring Groudon and I'm going to bring Zassy. Again, I really do like that. I think we can roll out with this team pretty strong and get after it. But yeah, it's rude with the lead. I'm digging it a lot. But yeah, we got to lead the Shadow Rider Kallax. It's an absolute must. But since this, this is our final Pokemon that we're showcasing for Series 13, well, the final mythical Pokemon that we're showcasing for Series 13, you guys got to let me know in the comment section down below for question of the day. What mythical Pokemon is your favorite to use in Series 13? For me, so far it's Marshadow. I think Marshadow is definitely a lot of people's favorites. But he's just so fun all around. So he's going to go into these two. And I am really fine with this. I'm fine with this. And I just think I imprisoned Trick Room here. And I maybe Dynamax the Rude. Wouldn't be a bad Dynamax. Rude would not be a bad Dynamax. I mean, our only problem would be if he... uh. He, what's it called? The Glacial Lance here. But yeah, I definitely have to imprison here. And then roll into a Dynamax and probably Max Darkness, right? Lower Special Defense. Kind of go off from that way. Because that could definitely help out our uh, Shadow Rider Calyx. So I'm going to imprison. I'm going to Dynamax Rude. And we're going to get Thrive in here with this mythical Pokemon in battle. 
But it's so cool. He has like a little pink cape and he's rocking out with it. Look at that. Yo, he's looking so dope. He's got the little armbands. Such a cool mythical Pokemon. I really do think he's cool. He ends up withdrawing Calyrex. Right? He's going to go into Amoongus. He's going to come out of here. But I think he's trying to get off this Trick Room all day, right? I definitely think he's going to get off this Trick Room all day. Or he's trying to, right? There's no way he's Dynamaxing Dialga. And the biggest part about this Dynamax right here is the special defense drop. That's going to help Calyrex set up, make him do a lot more damage, potentially get some kills, and then get Chilling A boost. But Zeru's going to get that Dynamax. He's going to go up to 360 HP. He's going to get wrong. So, yeah, he definitely wants to go for that Trick Room. So, we're just going to imprison it. It's Calyrex. He has all the Pokemon. And we're just going to roll into a Max Darkness here. So, solid turns for us. Really solid turns for us. It's going to do a decent amount of damage. Look at that. Half damage, which is gorgeous. And then we should be able to take that thing out with an Astro Barrage. And then just be able to double down into Dialga. But hopefully he's going for a Trick Room, right? Yep, he went for a Trick Room and we sealed it off. So that's a beautiful first turn. So now we're just going to Astro Barrage. Astro Barrage will take out Amoongus. And then on top of that, I could set up the Grass Train. But I feel like a Max Darkness would be better. Just to lower Special Defense even more. I'm with it all day. I'm with it all day. This is a beautiful start to our this match. Having Zeru Dynamax and canceling out Trick Room. We love it. But now this guy's in a tough situation. He protects Amoongus. That's fine. So Amoongus is going to survive unless you're double protecting Dialga. He's not. So Dialga's going to go down here. I'm going to say bye-bye to Dialga. That's that's beautiful. I'm, I'm with that turn all day. I'm with that turn all day. So Dialga's going to go down here to our Zeru shot. And then on top of this, we can take out Amoongus next turn and get the Chilean neighbor. I'm, I'm fine with this. He's just trying to get off Trick Room. He legit is just trying to get off Trick Room, but he can't. He cannot get off Trick Room with this uh, Calyrex on the field, who still has a Focus Ash. And Amoongus already took a crazy amount of damage. We are thriving. Yo, Zeru might get a sweep in battle number one. Everybody was talking at work about Zeru. Like, oh, Zeru's not that good. He's not that good. He looks pretty good to me. He's looking pretty good to me right now. Let's see who he goes into. Is it going to be Calyrex or is it going to be like his Zassian? Isn't he? Probably a Zassian in the back, end, right? Gotta be Zassian. I think Zeru might be able to outspeed it, right? Now, Zeru's like 180 something. Zassian can push the 200s. So I might just burn it at that point, but I feel like we have to go into the Astro Barrage. Right? We have to go into Astro Barrage even if he pulls out Zassian. The thing is, if we don't, then he can like put us to sleep and everything. But he can't put Zeru to sleep because we are grass. So he goes into Calyrex. He's going to have to Dynamax that Pokemon, and I'm just rolling the Astro Barrage and Max Darkness. He gives me no reason not to. And I believe Imprison is still on the field. I think it's on the field as long as my Calyrex is out there, right? Yep, we are Imprisoned, and we still have Focus Ash, so Astro Barrage is just going to poke here. That'll take out Amoongus, no problem, and we're just going to roll into another Max Darkness. So I think he does guard the Calyrex or protect it, but this match is over. This match is GG. It is GG. What a big-time start for us in battle number one and like i said in the team preview this is why i love this calyrex set setup right here the imprison trick room is just phenomenal it is the easiest way to stop trick room and it just works so well every single time so he's gonna end up dynamax to calyrex i really think he dies here too i really think he dies i don't think he can survive this max darkness from this root alongside with this astro barrage coming out two super effective shots two big damaging shots we're gonna get rid of the moongus here too that's gonna be huge and then the thing is like who does he take out after that right even if he does survive, like, who does he go after? Because if you go after what's it called, you die. Or he doesn't die. If you go after my Calyrex, you don't die. But he actually soaks up that Astro Barrage rather, rather well. But he might be able to soak up this Max Darkness, which I think he will. Let's see how this one plays. Max Darkness is going to fly through here. It's really going to get off some big damage. Can we KO it? We do not. Big time damage, but not enough to KO. The real question is, who does he go after? Oh, we could go after Calyrex and Buffets could take him out. Let's see. He goes for the Hailstorm. Who are you going after here? We're going to go after Zerud. Can you eat that, Zerud? You can. That is beautiful. That is just the most beautiful thing ever. That is the most beautiful thing ever. Now, if he has Zacian, we have a Pokemon faster than him, and we can pick up some Pokemon. Because we did get Chelly Nae boosted there. Amazing. Amazing. So, Zerud is able to soak up that Hailstorm. Thank God that Calyrex was a weakness policy. But if I had to guess, it is Zacian, and it's not. It is not Zacian. It is not. Okay, so I just power whip into that thing and Astro Barrage on top. It's GG's. We're going to see a sweep. I think we're going to see a sweep. A little bit of sweep action. And he changes the weather so we don't take buffets anymore. Which is nice. But yeah, Astro Barrage will take out the Calyrex. And then we just get a big old power whip rolling onto that Kyogre. But I think your opponent cancels the battle, right? He knows it's over. Sweep for battle number one for Jeans. You gotta love it. Unless we miss our power whip. 
Unless we miss our power whip. He ends up max guarding. That's totally fine. We're going to go for the Astro Barrage. It's going to get blocked. That should do more than half the Kyra. This power whip should come in here and clean it up. Right? Yep, a little bit more than half. And then power whip coming in hot. Rude lands it. We're going to say bye bye to him. Later, Kyogre. Beautiful. Like I said, yo, sweep in battle number one. Let's go with some Rude. With arguably everybody saying the worst Series 13 mythical Pokemon. This Pokemon's out here sweeping. He's playing no games. He's playing no games. But we're just going to Astro Barrage. We're going to Darkest Larry on top of this Calyrex. And that's going to be GG's. But yo, that Imprisoned Trick Room definitely clutched it up for us. First battle went perfectly. We imprisoned Trick Room and just swept out with the Zarude and Calyrex. But we're hopping into our second battle and we might need to imprison Trick Room again. We're going up against a Magurna and Ice Rider Calyrex Trick Room team with Lipard who can copycat and do like a Trick Room combo alongside with Kyogre, Zacian, and Yveltal. So I got to lead the Shadow Rider Calyrex again. I'm going to lead him alongside with Zacian this time because the reason I want to lead Zacian, actually we do not have Play Rough, which kind of hurts. We don't have Play Rough, but I feel like I still have to lead him, right? I feel like I still have to lead Zacian, but because I need to pose a threat in case he wants to lead Yveltal. I mean, it's a root could Dynamax, which could be solid, and drop a rock. Like, that could be solid, but the rock would be a problem. It would be a problem. So I'm going to go Zacian. I'm going to go Calyrex. I am going to bring Zarude yet again because I really do like that Pokemon. And then I'm going to bring Groudon just to kind of keep some weather control on our side. But we're kind of hoping he's rolling into like a Trick Room Pokemon. Maybe like Lipard and Calyrex, Lipard and Gearna. And then we can go from there. And the thing is, wait, can we imprison at that point? The copycat would go out first. Ooh. Ooh, that could be tough for us. That could be tough for us. That could be tough for us. Let's see who he goes into. He's going to go in the copycat, so he's going to max guard. That is, this is going to be tough. This is going to be tough. This is going to be tough. Because we can't imprison, right? We cannot imprison it. Now that I'm thinking about it, we need to lead a fake out Pokemon. That is tough because if we click imprison, he's going to outspeed us because of Prankster. Well, that hurts. So I'm just going to take off Focus Sash with that. And I am just going to get rid of... I do have Play Rough on this. Why did I think we didn't have Play Rough? Well, I'm just going to do that. And I think I'm just going to Play Rough onto the live part and finish it off. Yeah, I'm with that. Because he's going to Dynamax. He's going to Max Guard. He's going to do the Copycat combo. And then we're sitting in a rather tough position because then he just brings out Ice Rider and Calyrex. And he has the Trick Room Mullen. That's why Trick Room is so OP, man. It really is. So he Dynamaxes Magirna. Again, he's going to Max Guard with the Trick Room. And Prank's just going to come out here first. Right, Copycat. He not Max Guard. He does not Max Guard. He does not max guard. That's a little weird. That is a little weird. He does not max guard. That is weird. That is weird. So he doesn't set up Trick Room, which um, I guess I'm with. I guess I'm cool with. I mean, at this point, we just bring out Groudon, right? We Dynamax Groudon because we know Zassian is dead, but that, that hurts because, you know, Zassian dies here and he gets a defense boost on top of that. Wow. What a, I'll give it to him. That, that was definitely a, a play. But it's weird. That was weird. I mean, he has my gear now here. Plus two my gear now, I should say. Really scary. How should I get after that? It is orb too. So it's going to be able to take out whatever Pokemon I want. And the thing is, we have to go into this guy. Because of, uh... Because of what's it called. Because the root is not very effective on all of them. And I have to Dynamax Rout on. I'm going to Dynamax Rout on. I feel like he brings out, like, Calyrex or something. Who are you going to bring out here? Who are you going to bring out here? Because I have to Dynamax. I have to go into a Quake at that special defense boost. And I feel like we just have to keep Astro Barrage and get there. He is a defense boosted, but still, we should be able to do a decent amount of damage with this Quake. With the board. Let's see how he, who he goes into. He's going to go, go into Calyrex. And I'm cool with Calyrex. I really am cool with Calyrex. Because I can Astro Barrage on top of that and get off some nice damage. I wonder if I can KO that thing with an Astro Barrage. I know I outspeed it. I wonder if he's going to guard. I think we're fine. We can eat up a Glacial Lance all day. Unless this thing is weakness policy. We're still going to thrive in this. We're just going to go into Quake. We're going to go into Astro Barrage. We have to do it. We have to. But the best part about this is both my Pokemon are going to get a turn. As long as he could go for Trick Room too. Well, if he guards into a Trick Room, that'd be a play. 
That'd be a beautiful play, but I don't know what he's gonna do. This guy's really, guy's really playing with me right now. He's really playing with me because I thought he was gonna try to set up Trick Room right off the rip. But I could have imprisoned Trick Room that turn, which I probably should have. I probably should have imprisoned Trick Room that turn. We'll see what he wants to do here. We shall see. Here is plus two and scary. He does guard, yo. Astrobrage, get a crit or something. Just take this thing out. Take out the Calyx. Because the Calyx gets off Trick Room, we are, we are, we're done. Astrobrage comes out here and we don't pick up the KO. Oh my lord. Hurts the soul. Hurts the soul. I mean, I could try to pop a Trick Room back. You know, I might do that. I might guard my ground on here and pop Trick Room back. Yeah, let's, we gotta, we have to, <laughs> like we have to, we have to, we have to hope that the Magirin is coming after the Groudon, which I could see it going for, and we're gonna go from there, because we can't have him double down, we have our focus hatch, and we're gonna try to pull Trick Room back here, I'm gonna guard Magirin, I go after my, my boy, Glacial Lance comes out here, we need Magirin to go after, we need Magirin to go after, what's it called, Groudon, doubles down to me, that hurts. That hurts, man. That one hurts. Wow, I should have imprisoned Trick Room. Should have. Should have just imprisoned the Trick Room. Would a thousand percent been our play. Now this thing is boosted, and he's got this match pretty much on lock, right? He's got this match on lock. We, we're we going to bring out root here, but we can't do anything. We cannot do anything. I mean, I got to go for a Quake into... Uh, I mean, he's defense boosted. We're both physical attackers. <laughs> Hurts the soul. Hurts the soul. How many turns are left in Trick Room? Quite a few. But uh, yeah, I'm just going to go for Dark Slayer right here. I'm going to go for it. I'm going to go for the Quake. Hurts the soul. Glacial Lance is going to come out here. And Glacial Lance probably picks up the double kill, right? Has a chance to. Chaos is the root. Groudon, can you eat up a plus three shot from this uh, Magirna? Maybe, hopefully. Give us a shot here. Plus four, my fault. Plus four, Magirna. Plus four, Magirna. <laughs> Can we eat this up? Dazzling comes in here. Oh my god, that Pokemon's OP. That Pokemon is OP. Soul Heart, Magirna. Coming in the back end for battle number two. Taking us out and just cleaning up. We definitely should imprison Trick Room because we could have won that battle, but he made a great play. Playing a little bit different and didn't like pop the Trick Room right off the bat. Third and final battle, let's grab ourselves that winning record. That second battle didn't go too good, made some bad plays. Our opponent ended up taking control of that one and ended us there. But uh, like I said, we are one and one. Let's grab ourselves that winning record. We're going up against a Marsh Shadow team with Kai Ogre and Groudon, and then he has P2, Sol Galeo, and then Zacian. What should I do here? I could take complete speed control right here with this guy. And then if he wants to lead the P2, how can I kind of counteract the P2? P2 is rather annoying. I could fake out the P2. Go Zero Aura and that, but I kind of just want to go Town Flame. Actually, instead of Town Flame, let's just go Zero Aura alongside with like Zacian as lead. I feel like that can be a pretty strong lead. I feel like we can roll out with that, or I can go into uh, hmm, who could I go into here? I don't want to go into Calyx. Calyx isn't good, but again, if he leaves the P2, it's going to be a problem. So I'm going to go Zacian. I'm going to go Zero Aura. I'm going to bring Groudon and I'm going to bring Calyx in the back again. Seems like my best option. Definitely seems like my best option. So I'm going to lock it in. I'm going to lock it down. We're going to look to grab ourselves a winning record in this third and final battle. But first battle went perfectly. We had a nice little sweep. Second battle, our opponent kind of like, they didn't sweep us because we take out the live part, but that Matt Gearn and Calyx rolled out strong onto us. It was a tough one. It was a tough one. Because I definitely should have imprisoned that one turn. You guys know the exact turn I'm talking about. Definitely should have done it. He's going to go P2 alongside with Groudon, and I've feel like at this point that we just blade the ground on I definitely want to fake out the P2 it was a problem I do have air balloon I do have lovely air balloon I do have that air balloon so I could what do I do I definitely gotta fake out P2 has Volt Absorb we gotta, we gotta remember that now yeah I gotta fake out I could coach I feel like faking out the P2's play. I could set up a sub. In case he wants to swap or something, do something to the ground on, or maybe even Dynamax his ground on. I could sub and block a shot. I'm gonna fake out. I'm gonna go for the sub setup. Here. What's he going for? Is he going for blades here? 
gonna set up some. I'll go for blades here. I do have air balloon dodges. Oh my god, I got the dodge. I got the dodge. Oh baby, I got the dodge. You know what? Let's coach this boy. Let's coach this boy and just bleed you? Because he could protect. I kind of just want to bleed you. Hmm. I'm just going to blade the ground on. Wow, yo, we got it. We got that. That's amazing. So I'm going to coach my Zacian. <laughs> I'm going to plus two my Zacian. Boost him on the vent support. And I think we can take out this ground on here, right? Maybe. Possibly. But he might pop a trick room, which could be scary. He could definitely pop a trick room. Oh, yeah, we got the dodge on the blades. Can this KO, please? It can, yo. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. Zazzy and OP. We got a... Oh, my God. RNG's on our side. Pokey guys are like, yo, jeans. Here's your daily dose of RNG. But there's a trick room. Okay, I'm kind of cool with that. I do have air balloon. I do have substitutes still out. About. And a foul play could do me dirty. A foul play could do me dirty. But he's going to bring out Sogaleo here. And what do I do? What does Jeans do here? Um, you know he has Volt Absorb with that uh, P2. Although I'm always gonna come out here. I have Snarl, I have Coaching, I have e Web, and I have Fake Out. So I might have to swap this out. Not gonna do much. Oh no, he goes in the Zazzy. He goes in the Zazzy. I do not mind that. Do I just go after his Zassian or my Zassian? Because my Zassian could take him out in one shot, no problem. My Zassian could take him out, no problem. But I feel like I have to swap into, like, Kalex or something at this point. And let me check your speed, Zassian. I could go in the ground on. I could go in the ground on here, which I'm kind of leaning towards. You're not maxed out on speed. You, you could probably outspeed this. This Zassian and Trick Room. So you know what? I'm going to rely on that. I'm going to go into Ground on here. Let me just make sure I'm swapping my uh, Zero Ore, right? Yeah. We're swapping the Zero Ore for the Ground on. Instead of the Calyx. And I just drop a Blades right into the Zassian slot. It's an all-day play. I'm 174 speed, and he just cancels battle. Let's go. During the final battle goes to us, and we grab ourselves the winning record. There it is, ladies and gentlemen, a winning record with this Rude team. And we got to show him off really, really well. The first battle, we completely swept with him. Second battle, we kind of got dumped on. And then third and final battle, we didn't even bring him in there, but our substitute Zassian clutched it up for us, dodged the blades, and rolled out from there. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread some positivity today. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody. Thank you.